Here is a quick guide on how to get Geometry Node Hair into Unreal Engine 5. First, register an account on GitHub and Unreal Engine websites. After log into Unreal account, go to Personal, then App and Account tab, link your GitHub account to your Unreal account. Without doing so, the add-on download page would be a 404. If you have done it correctly, from the download page, you will get a Blender tool zip file. Unzip it, we are interested in the send to you e folder. Copy it to your Blender add-on folder. In Blender, once you refresh the add-on tab, filter the send to Unreal add-on and enable it, you will get a pipeline tab on the top left. I will use this head mesh as example during the process. You can manually add hair from scratch or use pre-made hair assets from Facial Hair Toolkit. Transfer the hair to the custom head mesh. Repeat the same steps for eyebrow, beard, and eyelash. Here, I also bind the head to an armature. When everything is set, move them into the export collection. Here, I use Unreal Engine 5.2 as example. First go to Edit, Plugins. Enable Alembic Groom Importer and Groom. Then to Edit, Project Settings. Enable Remote Execution. As well as Support Compute Skin Cache. Optionally from the Advanced Settings. You can enable Orbit Camera Around Selection and Invert Middle Mouse Pan. Unreal Engine needs to restart to take effect. After Unreal Restart, go back to Blender and press Pipeline, Export, Push Assets. Depends on the complexity of the model and hair assets, Blender may freeze during the process. There would be a progress bar at the bottom left. When it reaches 100%, go to Unreal Engine, open the content drawer, you will find the assets from Blender. Drag the skeleton asset into the scene, create a blueprint from it. Here we will bind the hair assets. Click plus icon and add groom component. Since there are multiple hair assets, I will duplicate the groom component a few times. In the groom asset and binding asset drop-down list, find the corresponding pair. You can see them neatly named in the groom folder. Repeat the steps to all the hair assets and save. The haircut strand seems too thin. Find the haircut groom asset and open it. Under strands tab, you can adjust the look. That is it. Finally, I will do a quick test to validate the hair assets. Go to the skeleton asset, I will record a head rotate animation. Back to the blueprint asset, in animation tab, assign the test animation. Everything works as expected. Hope this short tutorial helps, happy blending!